Well, welcome back, everybody. I appreciate Ziad filling in for me last night. I want to go ahead and uh, take a look at uh, several markets here as we're getting ready to uh, slowly work our way into the uh, incredible uh, 4th of July uh, weekend. I hope everybody's going to have a great chance to celebrate, uh, you know, uh, the 4th of July and, you know, Independence Day. So uh, with that being said, uh, as we go ahead and uh, take a look here, uh, first of all, with the SPY versus the, uh, the Dow. So if you recall in my previous uh, you know, videos, key things that I was looking to do was go ahead and break out above some of the uh, resistance that was uh, at play here, which was right back over here, as you recall. And as you know, I like to go ahead and get through those resistance levels, kind of pull back, test that area, and then start to take back off again. Uh, but even despite that, even without that, as you recall, even when we were down here uh, and here, and here, uh, my, my thought was still the same. Until we have the two bar closed down below the channel, uh, I'm still looking for long side trades only. And that's been exactly what I've told you now for five straight months. In fact, it was back uh, February 2nd, or sorry, February 1st uh, uh, here, where we went ahead and were sharing it way back when uh, we were already looking for the longs only back before that too. But then when we got to here, I said, look, unless we have two bar closed down below the channel, uh, then I'm going to be looking still for long side trades. Well, you remember, even back then, five months to the day here, uh, it went ahead and actually made a reverse inventory retracement bar in an uptrend. And what are we looking to do? Go long. One tick, one cent, one pip above those. So all of you should be very familiar very, with these powerful tools, my IRBs, reverse IRBs, and of course, that's just one of many of these different strategies uh, because that also involves like the speed line continuation crossovers here, things I've taught you in just the last couple of months during special you know, evening training class. And that's a whole you were in weekend training classes so hopefully you guys were coming to those different events uh and so bringing it back to where we're at here now so as we take a look at this so we did go ahead and finally you know get back uh, through those areas here pull back tested it holding the speed lines uh and so it just continues to be alongside meanwhile the dow went ahead and pushed through the channel pulled back into the channel and pushed up as well so even more emphasis of why I'd want to be long side trade only until the Dow and the S&P both going, you know, start having those closes down below the channel. You know, it's just not over. Uh, the market's climbing a, a wall of worry. There's lots of, lots of reasons to go and be concerned. Inflation, real estate, and, you know, uh, you know conflicts uh, with other, you know, political entities, etc. Lots of reasons to go and be concerned. But the trend's your friend till the bend in the end, as they, uh, you know, say. And uh, the reality is so for five straight months I've been telling you since we've been hitting those channels we're still looking for the long side only so how do we do that you know uh, well there's a couple of different things obviously within wealth charts you can go over here to like where the indicators that come with uh, wealth charts under premium there go down to my name throw on those IRBs and reverse IRBs and be looking for those have them marked out um, and uh, but otherwise uh, two other places you can go within like wealth charts there wealth finder take a look for things that are showing up on multiple you know, places like, you know, Apple here you know, showing up uh, and uh, you can see here Apple showing up over here as well. And uh, you, know, the, you can see Apple showing up on the monthly. Uh, we go over to the WSI scanner and <laughs> Apple's got max score, right? So looking for those types of uh, opportunities there. Uh, and sure enough, when you have those now, look what you have. Reverse inventory retracement bar classic inventory retracement bar momentum shift uh you know with trend uh you know a classic uh, inventory retracement bar a classic inventory retracement bar uh and uh, and then you know currently there's a reverse inventory retracement bar uh is so looking to see if there'll be continuation from there uh down below with some of my core tools right you have uh you know the uh, throttling you have dual momentums you have stochastic spike pullbacks all sorts of great things you know firing off here so when you have a situation where you're still looking for the long side bias that's what we're looking for and you know while we're here too you can see like amd well looking at amd is something that i was watching here earlier so you can see the same thing you know for our chart my itp indicator is firing off don't worry about that if you don't have those uh those are for my you know most advanced students but for everybody's benefit though it's nice to see you know like even you know irbs and reverse irbs you see a couple of those here reverse irbs uh classic irbs so looking at these different types of opportunities uh you know classic irbs breaking one tick one cent one pip above those those are all wonderful entry and re-entry opportunities uh 
here, and that's on a, just on the four-hour basis, which is a chart I like to look at. And then, of course, uh, with the daily charts, same kind of thing. You can see there's a classic IRB, right? You're looking to get one tick, one cent, one pip above the high. Here is a classic IRB, one tick, one cent, one pip above the high of that bar, right? The, so uh, hopefully you guys have been studying you know, the, the work there. And then seeing how these things continue to happen month over month over month over month. And so I try to reiterate this for you uh, so you can see, you know, that consistency in the messaging, consistency in how we're finding things. Um, and uh, speaking of that and, uh, you know, doing advanced training and deep dives for you, boy, you're about to get a load of it, right? In about 10 days here, uh, the Well 365 uh, July Summit is going to come on. This one is big. Uh, and so there's some great new speakers in addition to many of your favorites that you voted back. Uh, don't forget to fill out those uh, surveys that are done during the week of the show too because we bring on the people onto the show based on your feedback. We kick people off of the show based on your feedback. And so we got a really great show that you're going to want to go ahead and see. So if you go to wealth365.com forward slash BBT you can go ahead and get registered there. Um, and uh, it's going to be a six day event. I'll be doing multiple multiple presentations and uh, involved with uh, several of the speakers' presentations, too. Uh, it's showing some incredible things, and we'll be making announcements that have been a year and a half in the making. So I'm really excited. Cannot wait to go ahead and uh, be with you guys that and open your eyes uh, to the world of uh, trading investing in whole new ways. So it's going to be a big week ahead uh, there. That's like I said. So register now at wealth365.com forward slash BBT. Uh, um, and uh, we'll go ahead and look forward to seeing you guys shortly. So have a great uh, rest of the uh, evening here, and uh, hope to see you in the uh, weekend uh, special you know, 4th of July edition there, uh, and uh, in, in upcoming videos after that, and of course at the Well 365 Summit. Take care, everyone. Have a great night. Bye-bye.